Number one, he said, I was afraid, I was afraid, and I hid the talent. Amen. Fear is the reason for not obeying the call of God and using the one talent. Fear that you will not be enough. Fear that you will not be able to. But I can tell you, if you go to an island and you stay on that island for 10 years, Quoting these same scriptures, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Telling people about Jesus Christ for 10 years. Whether you are afraid or you are not afraid, it will have an effect after some time. Yes. Amen. What do you think? Yeah. You may be afraid. And by the way, everybody is afraid. Everybody who sits on a plane is afraid. Even the pilot is afraid. If he was not afraid, he would not check so many things before he takes off. <laughs> yeah. We don't follow fears. Amen. We don't follow fears. Sometimes when I think of Billy Graham or Bonky, how much they traveled up and down, up. Do you know Billy Graham preached in Ghana? He came to Kumasi and preached in Kumasi. Yeah. They traveled and traveled and traveled and traveled for the Lord Jesus. Yes. So when I think of all these people, I say, hey, what am I going to, what am I going to be afraid of? When we were coming from the crusade, the Ethiopian airlines that crashed, our team was in the plane behind them. They were, they were all on the runway to take off. This one, then a plane, then us. This one went and didn't come back. Yeah. There are many, many things to be afraid of. But if you look at what you are afraid of, to decide whether you are going to serve the Lord or not, you are going to be cut out. Many people are afraid. As for fear, everybody is afraid. But it is whether you follow your fears or not. And you have to decide what I am afraid of, I will not follow. That's what I have decided. When I sense fear, I tell myself, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do what I'm afraid of. Yes. That's the way to overcome fear. You do what you are afraid of doing. But you have to recognize that you are afraid. If you don't recognize that you are afraid, you never do the will of God. You have to recognize that. I can sense that I'm now becoming afraid of something. And as you become afraid, you, say, you decide, I will do what I am afraid of. Why? Because the Bible says God has not given us a spirit of fear. That means that fear is not a mood. It's not a feeling. It is a spirit. And because it's a spirit, you must not follow it. Because it's an evil spirit. And when you follow fear, you are following an evil. You are following an evil spirit. And it's very, very, very dangerous to follow an evil spirit. The Lord is my shepherd... I shall not want. He leads me. Where does he lead you to? So if the Lord leads you to green pastures, where do you think an evil spirit will lead you to? He will lead you to a very wild place. Desert. Sea water. To drink salt to hell. So once you are following an evil spirit, you are following something that is leading you to a bad place. I remember when I was in 
university that was a beautiful girl. And um, when she was in the midst of her youth, her father fell in love with another lady, not her mother, and left her mother and went to, with this other person. So their family, they had a very ideal family. Here is a father, here is a mother, here are the children. They were all living happily ever after, just like in the books, in the storybooks. But when this lady came and she fell in love, that was the breakup of her ideal family. Now, when she grew up and she went to the university, a very beautiful girl, I remember her clearly. Hey, so many people wanted to marry her, but she was always remembering what happened to her mother. Because you can imagine, her mother was devastated. All the children were devastated. So what she had experienced really affected her. This one will come, I want to marry you. <laughs> she will laugh with the person. This one because I want to marry you. She never say no, never say yes. This one will come, I want to marry you. Never say no, never say yes. Never say no, never say yes. Never married. No man could take her. Beautiful lady. You know, there are some people who no one proposes to, but this one, people were proposing. People were saying, I want to marry you, I want to marry you. But you see, what she didn't realize was that fear had gripped her and she was afraid to move into something that, that could, I mean, affect her so badly. So you must identify the fears that you have. Because the Bible says, he delivers me from all my fears. So you have to know what you are afraid of and overcome what you are afraid of specifically. Otherwise, you, 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 can't, you can't flow, you can't work with God. Every day you see that you are limited by your fear. He says, I was afraid and I hid myself. So people are hiding in the ministry because they are afraid in the ministry. They hide their gifts. I hid thy talent. I hid the one talent because I was afraid. I was afraid I would fail. I was afraid it wouldn't work. I was afraid people would laugh at me. Amen. Amen. Are you listening? Yeah. Yeah. So, how many of you are bound by the spirit of fear? Hey, a lot of hands. Stand up if you are bound by the spirit of fear. Uh, Bishop Saki, Please take a microphone and ask them what they are afraid of for me. No, don't sit down. Don't sit down. Stand up. Hello? Hello? Yes, coming to you directly. So, tell us, what are you afraid of? What's your name? My name is Sandra. Lady Pastor Sandra, what are you afraid of? Going to new places and experiencing new environments. Why? Just fear of the unknown. You're, fear you're, of the unknown. You are born in Australia. No, I was born in Zimbabwe. I, so I was born in Zimbabwe, then I went to the UK. Then from the UK, I came here to Australia. But still, the fear is still around. I'll go, but the fear is there. Oblique. <laughs> Oblique sensual. So, when the person speaks, then you diagnose. Yes. Next. Okay, yes. Oh, I'm a, my name is Saya. I'm afraid of people laughing at me when I try to talk to them about the gospel because of my past. Yeah. Mm. Which means your past is, your past is not good. That is the reason. Yeah. So, diagnose. Oblique sensual. Yeah, oblique sensual. 
Yes, coming for you directly. Oh, my, my name is Elijah oh, uh, Fiji. Okay. My fear is uh, committing, uh, committing to something. Uh, something godly. It's something that. You're afraid. Just afraid. I can't, I can't feel the fear in the microphone, I tell you. <laughs> hey. Hey. Wow. So, this is how do you diagnose it? Oblique sensual. Oblique sensual. Yes, then you. Uh, my name is James. You are here in Australia. My fear basically is on certainties. You know, even when I planned to come study in Australia the first time, I was very uncertain about how to live and even sustain myself here. So the fear of uncertainty of how you can survive elsewhere is basically the problem here. Wow. wow. Oblique Etli. Etli. <laughs> Pastor Paul, <laughs> coming for you. Okay, um, Pastor Paul from Sydney. Uh, Bishop, I don't know what uh, to expect. Uh, just a fear of the unknown, like taking the step, what's going to happen, what am I going to do? Just expectations, like what's going to happen? Is it going to work? Is it not going to work? And just like I start to start kind of calculate things in my head and I kind of withdraw myself, that's all. You want to be a millionaire? <laughs> you, you want to be a millionaire? Oblique what? Earthly. <laughs> Earthly, I think it's Oblique earthly. earthly. Yeah. Beautiful. Hmm. Yes. Stay there. Uh, Pastor Enoch from Sydney. Bishop, <laughs> <laughs> uh, these are the nice proper guys. So nice ones. Where is Louisa? Why is she not sitting in the front here with you? The She's pastors are for the pastors. Pastors, yes. okay. Oh, Louisa, you didn't raise your hand for the fear. You did. Then why do you sit down? Come, come. <laughs> Bishop Saki is waiting for you. Yes. Now speak to us. My name is Louisa. Fear of not finishing what I start. Fear of not finishing what you start. Explain it, please. This is a question. <laughs> so I kind of have a history of um, having speed to start some things and right in the middle I slow down so I just fear so you won't start at all no I will I, I do but I just fear that I would not complete what I start or not complete it well so. mm. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah try to take us on another target <laughs> Okay, at the back there, more fear. Yes, let's go there. Oh, yes, please. I'm Gladys from Fiji. Okay. I'm just scared of heights. <laughs> heights. She's scared of heights. So you can't fly. So she, did you fly here? Yes, Bishop. Ah, uh, but you overcame the fear to fly. Yes. Okay. Next. I'm Stella and I'm from Fiji. My fear that I have is when I go out and people quench my fire. Uh -huh. And this couple over there, come this way, come out. Yes. Okay. Um, my name is Ekena Batua. Um, I'm afraid of going out to tell people about Christ because I'm very shy and always fear that people will laugh at me. So, <laughs> <laughs> all right, yes. Your name? Uh, my name is Jason and uh, New Zealand. Okay. So, my fear will be, I think, talking to strangers because I never know what they can do to you and what they're going to say and how they're going to, they might push you down or just say something. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Then. My name is Wong. I'm from New Zealand, Bishop. Name is Wong. Yes. You're supposed to come to Bible school, remember? 
You did all the interview and all that, but you did your PhD, so you didn't come. I, I will come. So you finished now? No, I haven't. I finished my PhD. And I got a job now, but my mom wasn't a, didn't agree me to come to Bible school that, day, that time. So he asked, she asked us to get married that time. So we got married then. And uh, what I'm afraid of, um, I'm facing some of the New Zealand people, they have tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> It's powerful. Okay. It's Mr. Scary. Saki, I think some of this side, this side. Okay, let me cross over to the other side. All right. Sister Paula. Paula Coroma. Um, I'm afraid of like ministry not working because of what I've been through, I think people will not listen to me and I don't know. Yeah, but I'm just afraid I'm doing it, but I'm afraid because I've been disappointed many times. Like Bishop was saying, you give, give, and you don't receive back. <laughs> okay. Paula is afraid. Yes. Gamma. What's that, Gamma? Yes. Fear of rejectment and fear of failing. They're the two things. Rejectment. Yeah. Why? I don't like failing. You don't like failing? I don't like it. We all don't like to fail. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's, so it's one of the things. It's either if I realize that this, I'm not going to fail it, then. I sort of back out, yeah, hold on, and then sometimes reject it. If I feel that I can't get through to certain types of people, it, then I just find it very difficult to connect because mm. I just feel that these people, are, maybe I can't, they are sort of like rejecting what I'm saying or what I'm coming yeah. with. Yeah, next. Yes. Um, fear of not being good enough. Fear of not being good enough. Yeah. Wow. So you people, are you seeing that the Bible is true? I mean, one talent, last person over there. Yes. One talent has been given. My name is Peter. I have fear of failing. Fear of failing. Yes. Because 10 years ago, my wife and kids walked out from me. And I lost everything I had. I also was in the Uber, Uber industry driving and back in November I got random shot and I have a fear of going back to that industry but I love driving people to church. I want to go back to it again. Wow. Okay, sit down. Now, you see... How many realize that the fears are common? The fear you have is similar to the person next to you. Fear. And those who didn't get up. Fear of getting up. At least those of you who stood up overcame the fear of getting up. Clap for those who got up. didn't get up because you had the fear of getting up. <laughs> yes. You know, this is why I believe that Jesus Christ is God. Because these are words spoken by a 29 year old 30 year old man 2000 years ago. It's so true. Years go by, it's true. He gives to you one talent. So I, said, I was afraid and I hid myself. And you go through the congregation and you see fear is everywhere. Yes. So many people are afraid of failing 
and afraid of being laughed at. You get it? Yes. And so if I tell you, do I look like somebody who has fears as well? Ha, ah, then you don't know me. There is nothing that I have done in the ministry that I wasn't afraid before I did it. Yes. Everything I have done, I was afraid and I still did it. Yeah, because I decided that because it's a spirit of fear, I will do it. Starting a church, you can ask Bishop Saki, we discussed. He even suggested that we should start the church outside the city so that if it doesn't work, nobody will know that the church didn't work. He's here, you can ask him. It's true. We're afraid that the church wouldn't work. We're afraid the church will not grow. Churches we've planted, we've started, we're afraid that they wouldn't grow. Crusades, I was afraid that people would not come. Started healing, we're afraid that people will not be healed. Everything. Fear of doing it. Fear that we will not have enough. Fear that we will not be alive. Fear that we will be dead. We will not see the end of what we are doing. Fear of, of flying. I mean, one day I was on a plane. I saw a man with a spanner. He was now, I mean, repairing the plane. I said, look, this is too much. The plane that I'm about to fly, you are now fixing something in it. Oh, man. can see the man doing this thing and you are on the plane you know so you can see that fears are the same how many have been afraid of flying ah you see now yeah when the plane is going through some turbulence you will say, Lord Jesus. Thank you. If you follow fear, you are following an evil spirit. So I want to tell you the way to overcome fear is to do what you are afraid of. Yes. When you see that fear is now controlling you, step forward. Yes. And go forward. Don't allow your experiences in life to hold you back. Yes. You know, one day I prayed to God and I said, Lord, why is it that everything I do doesn't grow? That was before the church ever grew. I said, I do things, I start, I'll start this one, it never grows. I start this one, it never grows. I start this one, it never grows. The devil knows that the thing is going to grow. So he makes you afraid. So fear is, is an entity whispering to you and holding you back. Yes. And so you have one talent, but you cannot move at all. So hidden gifts. Hey, but I tell you, it may sound funny today, but if you die and you go and meet the Lord and the Lord starts to bring out your gifts and says, you see what I gave you? You didn't use it. You didn't use it. You didn't use it. You didn't use it. Even to sing, you need to overcome fear. Because when you are singing, you see, you never know when you start, you never know whether you will get to that note. So you, you, never, you never know when you are going to screech. And whether people are going to laugh at you. And after that, you will not sing again. So there's some boldness that you need in order to be a good singer. Singers have fears. Singers are tense. But you need to overcome your fears. Amen. Judges chapter 7. Judges 
Judges chapter 7. Then Gideon rose up early and he pitched the tent. Verse 2. And the Lord said to Gideon, The people that are with thee are too many. I don't need many talents. Lest Israel vomit themselves against me, saying, My own hand has saved me. Verse 3. Now therefore go to proclaim in the ears of the people, Whosoever is fearful and afraid, let him return and depart early from Mount Gilead. And there returned 20 and 2,000, and there remained 10,000. So 22 over 32 times 100 is what percentage? 22,000, 68.75. That is 70% of the people were afraid. 68, when you round it up, 22,000. So fear is the number one killer of the call of God. 22,000 said, Charlie, we are afraid. Let's be honest. We are afraid we will die. We are going back. So God gave us this scripture to show the figure of how the majority are afraid. And fearful people are no use in battle. So, when we sit here and the church is fearful, no matter what you message you preach, you are useless to the message because you are afraid. Yes. So, those of you who boldly stood up to say you are afraid, don't just accept it. I am a fearful person. I am a, I'm a frightened person. As for me, I am afraid. No. It's not good enough. To, it's nice. It's truthful. It's honest. But it's an evil spirit. How can you be saying, oh, that's for me, you know, I have a spirit of adultery. It's just something I do all the time, you know. It's just, that's just how I am. I just have this adultery spirit. You know, it, it, would it be a good thing to say that? It's like, yeah. So that's what you are saying about fear. So I have fear, I have fear. It's like fear is nothing, but fear is the greatest killer of your life and your calling. Amen. So, don't let one bad relationship make you afraid of men. That's how you have women's movements. Yes. It's true. One bad experience with a man. I say, all men are like this. All men are like that. All men are that. As for men, they are this. Men are goats. Men are animals. Men are mad. Men are that. Men are this. Men are that. One bad experience, and suddenly you've got a doctrine. Don't let your bad experience destroy you because of fear. So I want to see many of us young, you you cannot achieve much. Look, can you imagine those going to the moon for the first time? How they'll be afraid that they won't come back. Huh? Huh? Yes, and what about those who test planes? I mean, a plane has been built and you are testing it to see whether it can fly. I mean, those are test pilots. <laughs> they fly empty planes just to see whether it works. Hmm? Many things we are doing we would never do because of fear. Today marks the end of fear in your life in Jesus' name. Today marks the end of fear in your life in Jesus' name. Today marks the end of fear in your life. Today marks the end of fear in your life. In the name of Jesus. Fearlessly, we are going to the islands. Fearlessly, we are going to the ends of the earth. Fearlessly, we are going to do the will of God. Amen. Amen.